Hello, Abigail, Elizabeth, Aymara, and Mario. Welcome to today's class. Thank you. How are you today? I hope that you are doing good. Um, some of you are probably at home, some others probably driving. So let's help somebody else to join, Magdiel, Alexis. How are you today, Alexis? Uh, hello, how are you? I'm pretty good, and you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. You're welcome, I appreciate it. Uh, hey, did you work today? No, um, I was, um, no, I went to the hospital because uh, on, on side day, uh, uh, the, the dog uh, bit me uh, on, on my face. Oh, really? It, it, was it your dog or someone else pet? Nice. Is the neighborhood? Oh, your neighbor's dog. Neighbors, oh. I guess. <laughs> oh. Wow. So you had a medical appointment today? Yes, I I I I, I went to the hospital. Um, they they put me my vaccine. The vaccine, okay. Uh huh. But I do say no beer. Oh, there were no vaccines. They were never seen. Yes. Oh, and so, but in this case, uh, cuando se acaba algo, and in este caso, they run out of ahí se lo escribí. They run out of vaccine. El run out of es, es cuando algo se termina. Entonces okay. aquí se les acabaron las, las, las vacunas. They run out of vaccine. And you can apply that. Um, that is a, a two-word verb. When, for example, if you are driving and the car stop and you realize that it, uh, the car run out of gasoline. Ah, uh, the gas. Okay, thank you. It's a phrasal so, verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a phrasal verb. Very useful. Okay. Okay. I hope that you get better <laughs> and that uh, you get all your vaccine. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe tomorrow I will go to the hospital or the medical. Again. Okay. Yes, because you need to complete all the vaccines in order to be safe. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well. Um, Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. We're going to start the class. I hope that you are good, that you are okay at home. Uh, thank you, uh, Carlos. Okay, drive safe. Okay, you're going to be a listener. He said that it's okay. Thank you so much for letting us know. Now, let me start sharing. I do not recall if I sent the presentation, yeah, basically for today, we're going to be working with uh, with the booklet that you download from the platform, the in support booklet. Uh, we have um, uh, covered the present perfect uh, phrasal verbs, the reduction of adverb clauses. So now we will continue checking to see what else can we do here with the in support material. So, and how are you doing with the platform? Have you completed it? Uh, section one and starting number two? Any question about the exercises? No questions? Yesterday, the closing? No? Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> no, okay, not a problem. Well, we will uh, develop them maybe by the end of the class in case that you want to review them. And let's see. Well, today we're going to start the unit number two. I already recent 
the presentation. And as you may see, we're going to be covering our materials topic for in unit number two. Uh, the topic or the name of this unit is product testing. Um, and in this, we are going to be studying verb agreement with complex subject transitions of addition. And again, that is the grammar topic and, and the name, the grammatical name that they receive. But as you realize, it's not a rocket science. It's not really complicated. Um, lo que eran las adverbial clauses, las reducciones, ayer lo manejaron bien. Eh, lograron comprenderlo. So, um, tal vez no nos vamos a concentrar mucho en los nombres gramaticales de las cosas estas porque uh, puede ser frustrante más de lo necesario. Así es que no worries. Uh, tenemos ahí, dice, videos, Dyson's rigorous product testing, but yes, tenemos algunos videos, eh, pero por cuestiones de uso de de materiales de terceros no lo vamos a ver acá en la sesión eh, sin embargo pues ustedes pueden chequearlos verdad si si gustan ver los enlaces de los videos que están en el material eh, pueden hacerlo the article the importance of ten product the ten best practice to improve your content and product test and a ten line paragraph about advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group or test a product. Esto lo vamos a ver como una guía, ¿verdad? Así como hicimos con lo anterior, ¿verdad? Agarramos la conversación y sacamos los dos temas principales, que era el presente perfecto y eh, los three word verbs. Entonces, eso sacamos y luego extendimos ahí. Vamos a hacer lo mismo con esto. Vamos a desarrollar por conocimiento del vocabulario del tema y donde hay alguna oportunidad de ampliar eh, lo vamos a hacer pero por ahorita solo presentando verdad lo que vamos a estar um, desarrollando en esta unidad 2 que se llama product testing y también es bueno que pues como los ejercicios de la plataforma están relacionados a este material tenemos que tener eh, pues irlo a, a, estudiando en las videoclases. Eh, cualquier tema o, o que quieran repasar también me lo pueden hacer saber. Yo creo que con el presente perfecto, pues practicamos bastante. Sin embargo, si todavía sienten necesidad de seguir practicando, ya sea el presente perfecto o los three word phrasal verbs o lo de la reducción de las cláusulas de tiempo, me lo pueden hacer saber y yo preparo un repaso o más ejercicios acerca de ese tema, ¿verdad? Por, por las personas que eh, todavía tengan dudas o sientan que necesitan repasarlo o estudiar un poco más, me lo pueden hacer saber, ya sea en el grupo de WhatsApp o tal vez a, a personalmente a, a, mí, a mí sin eso o aquí en el chat de la MIRI me pueden escribir qué tema quisieran que repasemos de lo que hemos visto. Eh, y pues aquí, seguimos. And the first, it's a conversation and the first exercise that we have for unit number two is this conversation that I'm showing you here and that is on page 17 of your material. So, In this, we'll be able to determine the best strategies to apply to uh, conduct a product test. So basically studying the vocabulary related to that. And it says that product testing are necessary procedures to be followed before deciding to create a new product. Um, the following conversation features a group of managers in a meeting to discuss the strategies to testing their new product. We're going to read the conversation. Um, it says, good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have a green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you is all the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. 
the efforts this tax requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But we have figured out the cost. Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss, one of the most important factors in this job is managing costs, and I'm good at that. Okay, do we have any question about this dialogue? Teacher, yes. I have a question. What does it mean in the first paragraph? I am thrilled. I'm thrilled. It's synonym of excited. excited. Very, very happy, excited. Uh, um, monadic. This is a kind of test. Este es el nombre de un, um, de un examen. Son. Yes, it's like a proper name. Es el nombre propio que recibe un examen, como que dijéramos TOEIC, TOEFL. Any other question? And fancy teacher. Which one? Fancy. To uh, fancy. Fancy. I think it's fancy. F A N C Y. Fancy. F A N C Y. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fancy is algo elegante. Yeah. Oh, caro, elegante. ¿A dónde está fancy? Quiero ver el contexto. The fancy material. Ah, fancy material, él es como lujoso, algo lujoso, material lujoso. You can refer to fancy, maybe fancy um, attire, a fancy restaurant, aplicar también en eso se puede. Fancy es algo lujoso. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? No me van a ver haciendo viejitos porque no ando mis lentes, lo dejé. <laughs> okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to uh, create the breakout rooms for you to practice. And after you practice the conversation, you can discuss the questions. What product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? What specific concern does Mr. Vélez have about the product? And what is Mr. Avila in charge of? What do you think? Okay. So I'm going to uh, create the breakup rooms for you to first remember, practice the conversation, practice as many times as possible. And then 
answer the questions in exercise three. This is in the PowerPoint. And if you want to modify them from the PDF, you can find it in page 17. ¿En qué página está, Magdi, en la conversación? Ah, ya la hay en la página 17. ¿Usted la puede compartir, Magdi? Ahorita la busco. De, de practicar, ¿es verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay, can you see? Yes, Magdiel. Okay. Yes, Magdiel. Oh, yeah, it matter. <laughs> okay, who has started? Uh, could be you. Me. Sorry, okay. yeah. And uh, I'm Mr. Ayala. After that, I, uh, with I am Mr. Vélez, and you, Mr. Ayala, Ms. Ayala, or what? Yeah. Ah, no, you're me, Ms. Ayala. Okay. I'm okay. going to start. Good okay. morning. I am Trillard. Trillard, uh, how do you pronounce this word, teacher? Announce. I'm thriller. Uh, announce, man. Announce. We have. Mm -hmm. The microphone. The microphone is off, teacher. Creo que no oí. Okay. Good morning. I'm a thriller. To announce that we have green light to work on our test latest product testing test task. One, one of the good things I like about working with you, all is, all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this tasks requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a mon monadic test so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But I have you figured figure out the cost. 
some difficult decision to make refer to fancy materials and cost versus uh, qual quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost. And I'm good at that. Okay. okay, very good. And yes, about the question, I'm sorry because uh, uh, this uh, got like stuck, the, the screen got like frozen and I was not able to unmute myself. <laughs> but about the question you made, the word is thrilled. 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 Uh -huh. thrilled. thrilled. Como think, como las palabras que van con TH, but thrilled. 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 Mm -hmm. thrilled. Okay. Uh, and yes, solamente era esa, ¿verdad? Thrilled. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y es thrilled es cuando usted está como más que feliz. Eso es muy eh, similar a decir excited. Es sinónimo de excited. Thrilled. Announce. También tenía dudas más bien. Announce. Es out. Announce. 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 Okay. Announce. Uh -huh. I'm thrilled to announce. Thrilled to announce. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hoy, okay, hoy lo thanks. van a hacer viceversa, Magdiel. Sí, sí lo vamos a hacer viceversa okay. y después. Sí, así yeah. practicamos algo. Mm -hmm. Okay. You start. Con Aymara. Mm -hmm. No lo que tiene mute el, el micrófono a ella. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, good morning. I'm trying to announce we have green light to work on our last product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make with the to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this task, this task uh, re requires an important take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job, but have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost, and I am good at that. Okay. Teacher, okay. definitely, 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 or definitely. Como se definitely. Dif definitely. 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 Así, así. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Ahora si gustan, Cristina con Aymara. I want to practice, please. Yeah. Con Cristina. Eh, Somos seis, ¿verdad? Yo no también. sé si don Mario estará, estará ah, activo. Sí. Ya aquí estoy. Ah, pues con don Mario para que, okay. para que practique él también. Ok, go ahead. Okay. Vaya, don Marito. Si gusta, empiece usted. Hola. Good morning. I am thrilled to announce we have green light to work. Uh, and now. Lab. Mm -hmm. Announce, dijo la teacher. Announce. Ah, y la otra es thrilled. Y la otra thrilled. Es thrilled. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I am thrilled to announce. Announce. We, announce. Have, we have green light to work mm -hmm. on our last product testing testing tax. Okay. One of the good things, or things, no, things. One of the good things I like about working with you all uh, is the effort you make to do to do the job well i agree miss i agree with you mr ayala 
the effort this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I had already with writing some ideas for a monadic test so we can discuss then pay a look. Good job, but have you figured our record? Some difficult decision to make reference to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this in <clears throat> this job is manage uh, cost, and I am good at that. Hoy empiezo yo, vea, don Mari. Ajá, empiezo. Good morning, I am real. Como dijo, teacher. <laughs> I am thrilled. I, I am thrilled. thrilled. Uh -huh. Good morning. I am thrilled um, to announce we had a green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about cooking with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. Good has to figure out all the costs, some difficult de decision, some difficult decision to make refer to fancy mat material, material and cost versus quality. Yes, but materials. Material. Okay, gracias. Mat materials. Yes, boss. Okay. One of the most important factor in the job. It's managing cost, and I am good at that. Okay. Hoy que pase el siguiente, ve. Y la teacher siete, entonces significa que faltan dos que practican. I'm Abigail. Solo ella falta. And me. Ah, ay, don Samuel. Ah, pues no está ahí la parejita. Está bien, para que practiquen los dos. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, no, you want, I can be Mr. Bellis no, no, for the first time. Okay. Okay. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have a great life to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working, I'm sorry. Volume. No. Mm. I sorry. Mm. <laughs> sorry. One of the good times I like about working. Ay, me equivoqué. Perdón, perdón. No, va bien. Okay, voy bien. Sí. No, es green light to work. On our last product testing task. Right, the next one of the good things. No, no, yo, yo quiero ah, estar. Espérame, espérame. Creo que me he equivocado. Primero es mi esa. Who starts? Puedes leer ya todo. Ah, okay. One It's of the good one things. One of the good things I like yeah. about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Ms. Ariella. The effort the staff require are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. A look. Good job, but um, have you figured out of the coast? Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. 
chest bus, one of the most important factors on this Javis is managing costs and I could add that. Okay, we can change. You started. Okay. Good morning. I think to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the one of the good things I like about working with all one of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this tax to creators are important to take and into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for the monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But help you figure out the cost. Some difficult decision to make refer to finds, material, and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost, and I'm good at that. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Y hoy va a empezar Abigail. Ya lo hicimos igual las ah, dos. Ya, ah, ya dieron reversa también. Yes. Ah, son... ah, pues, mientras lo llama la ticha, sigamos practicando. Okay. Uh -huh. After you practice <laughs> the conversation, you have to answer the three questions that you have in exercise three. Si gusta okay. usted y yo, Samuel, no sé qué dice. Yo encantado. Okay. And the questions in exercise three? <laughs> um, Hello? What are the questions that can you show it, please? Uh, you, you, you have to scroll up. I don't know who have the screen. I don't know who is Magdiel. Sure. Magdiel is sharing. Mm -hmm. okay. Manage, 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 manage. Mm. Ah, si falta la otra tarea. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> ah, pues no, vamos a seguir con la tarea entonces. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. what product testing? So after you practice, you have to answer those three questions. Okay. Gracias por recordar. Teacher and your classes. I I forgot them. I <laughs> left them in the car. <laughs> yes. So that's why you probably will yeah. see me haciendo viejitos de <laughs> Yeah, it's because of that. <laughs> okay. Okay, what product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Okay, um What is the most important thing in this in this conversation? What they talk about? They are they are talking about a, a, a product testing, okay? But the boss, Mr. Bellas, say two words that are very important to consider. It. In the one, the two, effort. three, four, in the four paragraph. The last, the last, the last words in the four paragraph. Is the the is the 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 strategy to they have to take to test this product. When he say. Uh, to make, uh, yeah, yeah, Miguel, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Could be the effort. The effort is el esfuerzo. Uh -huh. but, uh, but the answers uh, ask uh, what product strategic. Strategic, strategy is mentioned in the conversation. And the strategic is the last part of the fourth paragraph when say, refer to fancy material, cause, versus quality. They have to uh, share cost 
and have good quality without fancy materials. Everybody agree? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I agree. What product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? I'm on addict test. Yeah, that is correct. This is this level. This is the uh -huh. Mon monadic test is the, the answer. Huh? Yes. This is the testing strategy. Monadic test. Or uh, could be the managing cost. Yeah. I'm agree with MacDill. Because a test is not an strategy. <laughs> For a product testing? What they test. The strategy is to make refer to fence material and cost versus quality. To test a product? It's not an strategy. The strategy, remember, the strategy is the way to sell to or put in the market some product or some service. Yeah. Mm. ¿Qué es una estrategia? Podría ser como una idea para poder mover o vender mi servicio o producto de una forma inteligente. Ok. Por ejemplo, <coughs> mi estrategia sería, por ejemplo, eh, ver el costo versus la calidad, como dice ella, como ver mi costo, si el costo está de acuerdo a la calidad de mi producto. Y de igual bien. forma la aceptación que puede tener en el mercado. Ok. De buscar el mejor costo con la mejor calidad. Ahora. ¿Y qué dice ahora, la pregunta? Mario, Mario tenía razón en algo, fíjense. Pero, ¿Qué dice la pregunta? Sí, o sea, el testing, con... the testing strategy. ¿Qué dice la pregunta? ¿Qué estrategia de prueba de productos se menciona en la conversación? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál dice? Sí. ¿Qué dice en la, en ¿En la pregunta? Cargo. Sí, así dice. dice. Sí, tiene toda la razón. Mm. Había una palabra más importante antes que estrategia. Uh -huh. Que es el testing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are right, my dear Mario. Working. So what is exactly the answer? No sé si puede ser una respuesta corta. Y le dice que es una idea para una monadicta. Could be to make to make refer to fancy. Or no.
eso nos faltaría la tercera nota. What is Mr. Abilenchon? Está? Es como lo último donde dice One. Man Managing Cost uh -huh. I, am good, I am good at that como soy bueno en eso Es que es como que soy bien con eso o algo así Ajá, okay. yo soy bueno en eso. No sé. Me dice bien. Sí. Ok. Bueno, ya tenemos para defendernos un poquito. Yes, you can save it. You save it or take a screenshot so that we can share the answers in the main section. Okay, let me um, check attendance and then we're going to share your answers. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Are you still driving? I guess you are. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Cecilia. A ver, este okay. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Person Alexis. Present. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel Vanessa. Lisa Yamile. Carla Ivani. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Eh, Matías Saúl. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Matthew. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Samuel Antonio. Present. <coughs> Present teacher. Thank you, Samuel. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. And Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Victor. Okay, now let me share screen again so that we can share your answers. So, um, a volunteer for number one, I think uh, what product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Do you recall the answer? Any volunteer? What? Ammonitic test. Ammonitic test. Excellent. Number two, what a specific concern does Mr. Bellis have about the product? Cost versus quality. The cost, cost versus quality. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And finally, what is Mr. Avila in charge of? Managing costs. Managing costs, excellent. You did an awesome job um, with this conversation. So the next thing is to have to achieve verb agreement with complex subject. And uh, this is not like so complicated. I think that the worst thing about this topic is the grammatical name, <laughs> but it's not really difficult. Now, let's analyze this. It says subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. Quiere decir que siempre que un sujeto, este, antes del sujeto haya una expresión que indique cantidad, se llama complex subject. Eso no es como que tengamos que tener en mente esos nombres tan Mm. Uh, so un poquito scary. Uh, they, are, they take a either singular or plural verb form depending on the number, if it is singular or plural of the quantifier. Entonces, básicamente es que um, el verbo va a tomar forma singular o plural dependiendo del quantifier que tengamos. Um, Si el quantifier es como eh, de una cosa singular, eh, el verbo tendrá esa forma también, singular. Y si es plural, pues el verbo va a ser plural también. Um, así como dicho de una forma más fácil, esto lo tenemos en la página 18. Déjenme ver si tengo abierto el material en la página 18. Oh, mm, mm. Tengo que abrirlo entonces. Dime un segundo so we can modify it or... No, no, no. This is this the student book. Nineteen, eighteen. Okay, here we have it. It is on page eighteen of your material, and let me make this bigger. Okay, here we have. Okay. Now, it says lo que les explicaba, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, the first of the decision has been made to go ahead with the plan. Entonces, el quantifier eh, sería aquí the first. El sujeto, eh, 
las decisiones. Como el quantifier es singular, el verbo lo tenemos también en singular. Has, que es el singular de have, ¿verdad? Uh, y aquí nos explica. Here the first refers to one. Uh -huh. Como the first se refiere a uno, a una de las decisiones en este caso. Entonces, el verbo tiene que ir en forma singular. La forma singular de have es has. Por eso tenemos ahí has. Now, uh, B, one of the good things. Ahí el quantifier es one. One of. Y pues el sujeto es the good things. Uh, I like about working with you is, is the F word. Entonces ahí tenemos el verbo en singular. Uh, pero no nos concentramos como decir las buenas cosas. The good things is plural. No, lo que está antes del sujeto, que es el quantifier, es lo que nos va a dirigir y en qué forma va a ir el verbo. Y, como ven acá, en la parte, en, las, en, las, en, esto, en este cuadrito, aquí vamos con los plural. Some sería un eh, cuantificador para plurales. Entonces, ven que el verbo está en plural también, are. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about cost and quality. Here, here some refers to more than one difficult decision. It is in plural. So the verb must be plural. Or a, a majority and a number take plural verb. Okay. Si dice a majority or a number, esto lo vamos a tomar para plural verb, no es singular. Um, por ejemplo, a majority of product developer prefer to use blind test. Okay. So ahí está el verbo prefer porque está tomándose como un plural, el majority o el a number. Si, si lo tomáramos como singular, el verbo diría prefers, pero no, está prefer como like plural. Um, y luego pues están los ejercicios para eh, hacer eh, práctica de esto que acabamos de analizar aquí. Como ven, no es así como que oh, cuando uno ve los nombres gramaticales que complex subject y todo eso, uno dice, oh Dios, ¿qué es esto? Pero realmente no es tan así. Eh, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer los primeros uh, aquí. It says, read the statement below and choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. Vamos a escoger la forma del verbo que vaya de acuerdo con el sujeto. Como veíamos, some, some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. De acuerdo a lo que estudiamos en el cuadrito anterior, ¿Qué vamos a escoger? Have o has? Have. Have. Have arrived yet. Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Y así es siempre. Ahí pues, ahí pues, tienen el, pues como pueden escoger aquí para dibujar aquí hay como resaltadores, etcétera. Escogemos un color bonito, le ponemos ahí, etc. Ahí pueden ir modificando ustedes en su PDF. I'll give you time for you to work on this and then we will check.
Okay, let's see. Um, Alexis, number two, what do you have? Is R? Is R one of the oh God, R, R, only R, only R? Number two, one of the factors to decide on the best type of test are the mm. characteristic. No, no, it is, is. Uh -huh. is. is, is, is. Tiene que is. ser is porque el quantifier que tenemos aquí es, es, es number. Es singular, ajá, uh -huh. es un quantifier singular. One, sí, sí. one of the factors. Okay, so here the answer is. is. Um, the next one, number three, somewhere. A number of customs is, are satisfied with the performance of the new mode. Mm. A, a number of customer is is ajá uh -huh, porque a number y a majority es tomado como singular entonces escogemos la forma singular del verbo is a number of customer is thank Sorry, you fine. Mm -hmm. Abigail do you have the number four the fears of the stupid suggestion Justin, sorry. The first of the Justin I want to implement is are the design of the level. level. Is the design. Okay, excellent, Avia. Thank you so much. That's okay. The first is like singular. Uh, number five. Um, do you have number five, Aymara? A majority. Ay, hola. Hello. So, a, majority, a majority of teachers have pointed out the need to make our products lighter. Uh -huh. Lighter. Lighter. Excellent, Aymara. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Uh, number six. Cristina, do you have the number six? Two teacher. A number a number of comments to guess that the dragon 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 was the currently is the best charest trick. Mm -hmm. Suggest. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, because a number in majority toman un plural verb. Okay. So yes, excellent. Eh, lo que les mencionaba, ¿verdad? Aquí aparecen algunos links, uh, algunos de, de ellos están uh, disponibles, algunos otros no, pero pues no los podemos chequear en clase por la cuestión de derechos de autor, ¿verdad? Porque los videos se suben a YouTube, pero ustedes pues pueden curosear esos links eh, si lo hacen desde el PDF. Como lo estoy haciendo acá yo, basta con tener acceso a internet y solo hacen clic en el enlace y ya lo lleva al sitio por si quieren eh, revisar okay. de repente los websites que okay. ahí están. Uh, yes, I'm going to stop sharing and let's see. Um, I want to check in the platform if, well, uh, I see that most of you have completed the section number one. Uh, but if anybody has any question about uh, any exercise in this unit, you can um, ask now and we can check together. Uh, we did the first one uh, in the, the first homework in section number one. And I think that most of you maybe has done this one, but remember uh, these were the answers. Esto lo hicimos en la primera clase, just like a test. But here are the answers. Once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where customer can get it. That is 
commercialization. Um, brainstorming refers to idea generation. You have to ask for a customer opinion, that is concept developing and testing. And number four, uh, this stage research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product would be accepted. That was test marketing. And finally, the number five, it says it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. The answer is launch. Now, uh, second exercise. Yeah, just a review. This is related to the present perfect. So let's check it together. This is very simple. It's to select the best option. Linsa, not been to France. Has. Has? Has. Yes. Has, okay. Number two, have. have, have, okay. Number three, have, I, the, the, uh, Dave, okay. Dave. Number four, have, 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 okay, five. And number five, have, have, okay and we sent the answers. And that is pretty easy. However, if you still think that it's difficult to, um, to build sentences, questions, and talk about simple, uh, the present perfect, you can uh, tell me, let me know, and I'll prepare a, a review for you. And this is the, this is related to the reduction of advert clauses lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer, que pues um, era de pues reducirlas. No sé si ya todos hicieron este ejercicio o si quieren que les mande las respuestas en el WhatsApp. Yo, teacher, para saber en esto ahí, señor. No. No. Ok. Este es... Les voy a poner las respuestas en el chat por si necesitan este. De repente pueden intentarlo. Esto es lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer. Pueden intentar hacerlo y pues si no les sale, pueden chequear las respuestas. Son las que les estoy mandando aquí en el chat de la miren. Porque de repente este. A veces uno de tanto intentarlo ya no quiere ni saber <risa> Mi pensar ya más o oh, ya. Yeah. And, okay. They are also in the WhatsApp group and I already send them through the meeting chat so that you can have them handy when you get to this one. Recuerden, es solo de ir reduciendo si tienen el mismo sujeto. Se quita el sujeto, se elimina cualquier forma del verbo be y el verbo principal se pone en Gerun, ing form. No importa si el verbo principal está en presente, en pasado. En ese, el verbo principal toma ing form. Una vez eliminamos el sujeto y cualquier forma del verbo be, sea presente, am, is, are, o si está en pasado, se elimina. Así, um, por ejemplo, aquí, si se fijan, after they sang two songs, the performance did a dance. Es el mismo sujeto, entonces quitamos el day aquí y el verbo principal tomó la forma de gerundio. After singing to song y luego lo demás permanece igual. The performance did a dance. Eso fue lo que estuvimos ejercitando el día de ayer. Igual, si sienten que necesitan que sigamos en... en, en En esto hagamos más ejercicio de reduction of adverbial clauses of time. Me lo dejan saber y con gusto les busco material. Um, number, well, we, we discussed this yesterday. Remember what does SWOT stand for? What is the meaning of SWOT? Is it strong, wonderful, option and threat? 
or is it strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat? Strength, weakness, option, and treatment? Number two, strength, number two. Weakness, opportunities. <laughs> yes, number two, or the second option. Now, they are examples of a strengths. Focuses, book, book, practice. Uh huh. Related to yes, related to what we have been studying about marketing, about products, it will be yes. I think that focus, punctual, and proactive. It's an example of threats. I'm focused, punctual, proactive. Number two. Yeah, competitors and in el in el contexto que estamos estudiando, yeah, competitors. If you ask probably a, an animal, they will say humans. <laughs> okay, they are examples of weaknesses. Irresponsible, awesome. selfish. Irresponsible and selfish, yes. Because short and poor, I think that mm -mm. it depends. <laughs> it's example of opportunities. Third one. Yes. Number one. Number one. Which country could study? Yes, I think yes. And yes, we are 20 out of 20. So remember here the answer. Let me know if you are um, completed them along with me or if you need to take a screenshot, let me know. So remember, what does SWOT stand for? Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Uh, they are examples of the strengths. Focus, punctual, proactive. It's an example of threat. Competitors. They are examples of weaknesses. Irresponsible and selfish. It's an example of opportunities. If a country could start it, a car manufacturer can export its car uh, to a new market, increasing sales. Okay, so now we can move to the next one. And then we check. Now, provide an analysis of the company's advantages over its competitor. What is the correct word? Strengths. Is that opportunity, threat, or a strength? Strength. Okay, strength. Now consider areas in which the companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Weaknesses. Are a list of unexploited markets or business development. Opportunities. Mm -hmm. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Yes. Right. What is a SWOT analysis? One more time. What is that? Analysis is a framework. Use the evaluate a company's competitive position, position and develop a strategic planning. Okay, the competitive position. Yes, let's send in some search and they are correct. So excellent. Remember here, provide an analysis of the company's advantages of her, its competitor, that's a strength. Consider areas in which the companies are at competitive disadvantage, 
weaknesses, area, are a list of unexplored market or business development its opportunities. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory facts that is threat. And what is a SWOT analysis? It's an analysis uh, is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop strategic planning. And I think that the next one is going to get us to unit or section number three, in which this first, um, I need the first uh, exercise is read the conversation and uh, type the appropriate phrase into the correct space. Mm. Okay, so it is related to the conversation that we already practiced. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we remember. Now, um, when is the correct word here? Do you remember the conversation? If you don't, you can check back. Some of the good things. Okay, some of the good things. Some of the good things I like about working with you is all the effort you make to do the job well. Mm -hmm. That's good. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. This task requires an important to take into account. The effort. No, the effort. The efforts. No. This task requires are important to take into account. Okay. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic task so we can discuss them. Take a look. You figure out the cost. Sound difficult. <laughs> Some difficult decisions to make. Uh huh. Refer to fancy. Refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, well. And this job is managing cost, and I'm good at that. One of the most important factors. One of the most important factor. Okay, sounds like a good option. Now, in the next part of this is read the statements below and choose the correct, choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. Okay, and here we're going to practice what we have been doing a couple of minutes ago. Aquí se pone en práctica lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Some of the participants in the How? testing group uh, not arrived yet. How? How? A ver, le puede dar el control porque no hay bien si have or has. A volunteer? Have. Have, coach. Mm. Okay, have uh, Mario. Okay, Mario. Oh, he click have. Okay. If you want to continue or you want to get help for you, from your classmates, you tell us. Big one, this is. One of the factors is, okay. Okay. 
के होते हैं हम्म हम्म मेजॉरिटी इस सप्लेरल एक्सेलेंट थैंक यू सो मच मरिया फॉर हेल्पिंग अस विद दिस एक्सरसाइज सो या दिस इज जस्ट अ प्रैक्टिस एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक इट्स नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट्स जस्ट टू रिमेम्बर एंड हियर इट इज द थिंग सो लेट्स रिव्यू इट नंबर वन एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट वन ऑफ द गुड थिंग्स नंबर टू द एफर्ट नंबर थ्री सम डिफिकल्ट डिसीजंस नंबर फोर रिफर नंबर फाइव वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट फैक्टर्स एंड देन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट पार्ट नंबर टू इन दिस एक्सरसाइज Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Number two, one of the factors to decide on the best type of test is the characteristic of the product itself. Number three, a number of customers is satisfied with the performance of the new model. Um, Number four, the first of the suggestions I want to implement is the design of the label. Number five, it's the last one. A majority of testers have pointed out the need to make our product lighter. And then, yes, we have covered all these topics, so you should be like um, finishing section number. Two, so you should have complete all these um exercises. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing here so that we can continue working in our presentation material. Okay, uh, this is the presentation and we've been working here in the, with the complex subject. So we already finished those exercises. Now, in the next part of this, it's on page 19 of your material. And these are terms related to uh, types of tests. This is just to build vocabulary and in the terms, it's the chart below describe types of tests and research methods connected to product testing. So here we have to match the terms to their definitions, and then we have to check answers. Uh, the best thing is as if this is new vocabulary, we can uh, research in our dictionaries. Uh, for the meaning. So we have here the, the concept, the word, and here the concept, and we have to match. Um, as this is technical vocabulary, we will probably need to use our dictionaries. And we can do that in groups. So let me stop sharing for a while so I can share options. Okay. We're going to do this in groups so you can work together and you can assign, for example, you're going to work the first word and here one word per participant so you can finish faster. Okay, here we go.
moment. Hello. Hey, how are you, everybody? Hello. Oh. Les escucho entrecortado. Me too. Alguien tiene para compartir el cuadrito. Lo mandaron al WhatsApp. ¿O está dónde? Sí, en WhatsApp. Módulo 2. Uh -huh. Permítanme que me está descargando. Which number? ¿Qué número es? ¿De diapositiva? Mm -hmm. El número no lo vi. Yes, in the, if you work from the PDF, it's the 19. If you use the PowerPoint, it's number seven. Thank you, teacher. This one? Yes. <clears throat> Podríamos hacer como dijo la teacher, dividirnos, para que sea más fácil. Ok. Uh -huh. Son siete. Somos cuatro. Quiero ver. Aymara Magdiel. Samuel y yo. Ok. Ok. Entonces. En el orden que estamos. Bueno, a mí me aparece primero Samuel, Aymara y Magdiel. Si quieres, eh, no. no va a quedar de uno. Entonces, si quieres, Samuel, agarre los primeros dos. Eh, Magdiel, agarre tres y cuatro. Eh, Aymara. Sí. Voy a agarrar el cinco y el seis y yo se agarre el siete, Aymara. Okay. Y después compartimos el concepto. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Sit and hang the test. Customer use, customer use the product in real circumstance. Use the product in real there, use the product since number one. Use this. Customer uh, of our brand, customer use products in, in the handle it, they are rated. Then they are using and another problem. 
product are tested on branding, so the customer focuses strictly on the product as service and not on the brand name. I prefer. Okay, that's my opinion. I think uh, the first is the number seven. The first one. This uh, one. The first one uh -huh, it is the number seven. I think. <laughs> I'm agree with you.
Decía Magdiel, your opinion. Smoking caterpillar. ¿Qué va a hacer? I think number two is the third one. Consumer take the product to be used. O sea, es una prueba de uso. Ajá, la número dos. La número dos es la tercera, creo. Ajá. Tomar para hacer lo que ya sea como muestra. Digo yo. Como ajá, porque lo agarran como una muestra, como una prueba. Digo yo. En la cuatro no sería como la última. Blinders. Sí. Products are tested. En blinders. Es como de. Que no saben cómo se llama el producto, sino que solo lo ocupan y se, y se refieren a, a él básicamente por sus características. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Esa quién la puso? Magdiel. Mira eso. The last Luis one is the line. Los conceptos que a mí me parecen de mon, monadic method y la otra. Están diferentes. Uh, en la en la seis a mí me parece que es como que lo, los encuestan pero los conceptos o las características, ¿verdad? Que vende el producto, lo hacen de forma aleatoria para evitar el sesgo. Entonces. Creería yo que la 5 sería la. This test is a good option. Monadica. Yo le puse en el chat que Monadic es cuando se hace para una sola, para una sola, un solo test. Un solo test. Creo que en el, en el chat creo que se lo puse. Ver, Pero, que las que nos sobran sería. El uh, customer use the product in a real circumstance. They que nos quedan en. Product, side, handed, and ready later. Uh,
Okay, I'm sharing the screen so that we can check the answers together. So, let me get the text. Text. Okay, number one, site and handling test. What do you have? Site and handling test. Number one. Number two. Customer support. Mm. Number one. Side. Yeah. Number seven. Number seven of. The mm. uh, same coming test. This one. Okay, site and handling test. Number one, what is the definition? Hmm? And a number, paragraph number three. One, two, three. Consumer take the product? No. Number two. Number two. use the product real circumstances. They use a product seek, seek it, <laughs> handle, handle it, and rate it later. I, yeah, that is yeah, yeah, confusing because yes, they are, the definitions here in the material are very similar, but site and handling test, would be here. This test is a good option when there are significant functional or additional elements of the product for consumer to experience. Number two, use test. Use Test consumers takes the product to be used either a sample or for an extended period as they will. Yes. yes, excellent, Aymara. Thank you. That is correct. Number three. Products are tested on branded. Uh, the branded test. Number three, branded test. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. Excellent. That's correct. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. Mm -hmm. Number four, blind test. Products are tested on variety so the consumer focus strictly on the product's characteristics and not in the brand name. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I know that would be four, four. right? Uh, yes, that's just four. Number four, that's correct. Thank you so much, Matiel. Um, let's continue with number five. It is the monadic method. No idea? Number two. Yes, the monadic method is consumer use the product in real circumstances. They use a product 
cited, handled, and rated later. And number six is the sequential monadic method. It's pretty similar. The, it says, consumers use a product site and handle it, they rate it, then they use the site handle in another product and rate it. So this is, the only difference is that this is sequential. Um, yes, this is sequential and the other is just for one product, mm -hmm. but they are really similar. And finally, number seven, it will be this one, payer comparison test. Consumers use or cite and handle one product and then other. And they are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer because they are making a comparison. So yes, you should have this like, in this sequence, seven, Five, two, three, six, one, and four. A uh, challenging thing about this is that the 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 definitions are quite similar in, in a couple of, of these um words. It's kind of similar, but yes. And uh, let's see, it's almost time to stop. Let me check attendance back again. Uh, okay, so I have Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Yes. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kezia Noemi Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Person Alexis Funes. Present. Thank you. Gertrude Saimara Vaquerano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present, teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Oh, he's not present today. Magdiela Saú. Present teacher. Magdiela. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelani Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Samuel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Victor Noe. Present. Um, Okay, thank you so much for attending today's meeting. Um, I'll meet you tomorrow if God willing. So good thank night, you so much. I hope that you well. Have a good night, Christina. Good night, everyone. Bye. Happy night. Good night, teacher. Sleep well.